Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. New modeling shows how synonymous mutations, those that change the DNA sequence of a gene but not the sequence of the encoded protein, can still impact protein production and function. A team of researchers led by Penn State chemists modeled how genetic changes that alter the speed of protein synthesis, but not the sequence of amino acids that comprise the protein, can lead to misfolding that changes the protein's activity level, and then corroborated their models experimentally. The results demonstrate the importance of kinetics, the rate of protein synthesis, in addition to sequence for determining protein structure and function and could have implications in fields such as biopharmaceutics for fine-tuning the activity of synthesized proteins. Proteins are composed of long strings of amino acids that then fold up into three-dimensional functional structures. Each amino acid is encoded by a triplet of letters in the DNA alphabet of A, T, C and G called a codon, but there is redundancy built into the system such that more than one codon can correspond to the same amino acid. Therefore, a mutation that changes the DNA sequence of a gene won't necessarily change the sequence of the encoded protein if the mutation results in a synonymous codon. To make a protein, DNA in the nucleus of a cell is first transcribed into a messenger RNA, mRNA. The mRNA is then transported out of the nucleus where it is translated into a nascent protein by a cellular organelle called a ribosome. After translation the protein is folded into its final functional form. Over two decades ago, it was shown that synonymous mutations could reduce the activity of proteins, but it was still unknown what was happening at the molecular level to cause this change. The research team used a multi-scale modeling approach, using theory and computation to simulate what is HAP. A paper describing the research appears December 5th in the journal Nature Chemistry. For a variety of reasons, some codons are translated at different speeds by the ribosome, said Yang Zhang, assistant research professor of chemistry at Penn State and the first author of the paper. Experiments were then performed for the other two enzymes that also matched the changes in activity predicted by their modeling. They then examined the predicted protein structures and folding pathways from their models to try to identify changes at the molecular level that could have led to the changes in activity. In our models we found a new class of protein misfolding that we call a non-covalent lasso entanglement, said Zhang. Second, while cells have mechanisms called chaperones that can refold or remove misfolded proteins, these particular misfolded structures may be subtle enough to not be recognized by the chaperone system and they can persist in the cell because the observed changes would require a large portion of P. So, the question then is, how is this happening? And we can use our models to follow the folding pathway of the protein to address this, said O'Brien. We call this, kinetic partitioning. How fast or slowly the protein is being translated. The kinetics of the process, seems to influence which path the protein is more likely to take. These new insights into how the kinetics of protein synthesis can influence protein structure and function cool. The research was funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health and the U.S. National Science Foundation. Additional support was provided by the Howard Hughes Medical Institute and the Penn State Institute for Computational and Data Sciences. Materials provided by Penn State. Original written by Sam Schultes. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Yang Zhang, Siam Sundar Nedi, Ian Saturic, Priya Pradhan, Philip Te, Yingzha Shah, Stephen D. Fried, 
Squire J. Booker, Edward P. O'Brien. https colon slash slash ift tt tcnm sud access december 5 2022 thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos